Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and I'm Tom. And uh, I'm over here today in Bowden, Georgia at um, one of our group homes. And I'm here with a young friend of mine named Quamir. Can you tell him hey, Quamir? Hi. Um, so last week, as many of you know, we had our um, Child uh, Protection Summit. And Quamir, one of the big things last week was to, we had a big panel of um, young people who had come through foster care who talked about their experiences. And I know you've been in foster care here in Georgia for quite a while, right? Yeah. So um, tell me, you're, I know you're 16 and you'll be 17 pretty soon. And this is National Adoption Month and I understand you are, would love to have an adoptive home. Tell us, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so um, I am looking for a family who is really kind, passionate about me as a person um, and somebody who would like to see what I can do like with my art, somebody see what I can do with, um, with um, engineering and stuff like that. But um, most of all, I like, I like, I'm a type of family person. Um, I really like to do stuff for my family and it means a lot to me. So just stuff like that. Well, come here. I know um, you know. Like you said, a lot of times when young people or children, because you've been you were in foster care as a child, and I know a lot of times that when a child comes into foster care, it's very traumatic. And sometimes you do go through these periods of time when you just have trouble connecting with people, right? Yeah. And it, sometimes it can cause some issues. But you know, at the same time, you're at that stage in life where I think we all recognize that you need a forever family. You need that forever connection because you're a very kind and talented young man. So uh, I know that you've, uh, I know we talked a little bit about um, you're, you're doing a lot of drawing, you're enjoying math in school these days. Um, yeah. And I think you said you'd like to be a, uh, a maybe a graphic designer or a, a, maybe a, one of those CAD artists when you grow up. Yes, right? um, I'm planning on like, I'm planning on to go to either AI mm -hmm. or um, like, other colleges because uh, colleges mean um, mean a lot um, to me because of um, different schools I've been to mm -hmm. um, and you have to get good grades of course yeah but um, that's I'm not that's not worrying me yeah. you know? well I have all the confidence in the world that we'll, we can get you to the point where you need to be yeah. and of course for those of you out there who are listening. Um, you know, if you'd like to meet Kamir, we can certainly arrange that. I know you'd probably like to, to, to meet some folks who might be interested in, in connecting with you and uh, perhaps making at least making good friends and possible mentors, even uh, plus perhaps an adoptive family. Yeah. And we also, um, this month, as you know, it's National Adoption Month, and of course we're trying to highlight a couple of different things. Number one, that um, there are a good number of young people in Georgia's foster care system who, like you, Camille, really want to have a full-time, adoptive, forever home. And, um, and we're here to, you know, trying to make sure that folks understand that, that it's very you know, possible to meet young people like you and to bring, them in, uh, bring folks like you in, into the home and make that forever connection and just create a family. And so that's kind of what we help do here at DFAX. Yeah. Um, one thing like people like really don't understand is that uh, it's okay to be scared meeting new kids and meeting new people, especially like us, because uh, we never we do, but we uh, we have we have a lot of things that are on our mind and mm -hmm. um, going on with us. But it doesn't mean that we indeed we don't like different. Um, to meet new people too. Yeah, it's just me. It just it's just all about how you look at it. See, basically, what I'm trying to say is that you know how you meet somebody, yeah. and you're just a little worried that, hey, how would I look at, towards this person? Yeah, well, it's kind of like that. Just don't think about that. You got you got to look forward. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta know that everything's gonna be all right, and just it's all about leap of faith. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I want to invite all those folks out there to take a leap of faith if you're interested in, uh, in meeting a young person who needs an adoptive family like Kamir. Um, and also, the other thing, Kamir, is what we're really trying to focus on is one of the glad, things I'm really glad about having you here with me today, talk to you, 
is that we try to emphasize not only to the public but to our own staff that when we're working with young people in foster care we've got to listen to y'all because you're the ones who've been through it you know you know what it's like to be removed from your home to be placed in a strange place to have to work with all these professionals and so we need to listen to people like you so that we can make sure that the young people who are coming into our foster care system have the best possible uh, t time while they're here with us and that we're meeting your needs, okay? Okay. Um, and so the other, I guess a couple other things that are going on, um, other than the National Adoption Month, of course, and I think then the highlight of our day here, meeting Um uh, is uh, we are leading up to Christmas and one of the things that we try to do, as you know, Kamir, is that whenever we can get a child or a young person either back home with their family or to permanency, um, it, as long as that child can be safe, that's what we want to do. And so uh, my friend Judge Michael Key emailed me this morning, and he reminded me that between now and Christmas, wouldn't it be a great Christmas gift if those children who are in our foster care system, if we can get, get them safely back to their families, or help them find a permanent home as a great Christmas present. So I uh, hope we can hope all of our staff will think about that as we move toward uh, Christmas time. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And it's just been very great, great to meet you, young man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.